Jack Dorsey, the co-founder of Twitter, weighed in on the contentious issue of anti-Israel demonstrators at Columbia University on Tuesday. He appeared to side with the protesters who barricaded themselves in one of the buildings on Columbia's campus, took to what was once known as Twitter, is now X, and essentially expressed his criticism of the NYPD's response, or at least he also amplified other people's criticisms of the response. Dorsey agreed with one commenter on X who said that the anti-Israel protesters are very similar to those who demonstrated against the Iraq war and the Vietnam war. He also agreed with someone who says that people love state power when it's on their side. In other words, the government was exercising power against anti-Israel demonstrators. You also reposted a sarcastic comment from a commentator who wrote, I'm so glad that Trump lost in 2020. Otherwise, we'd be seeing fascistic crackdowns on political dissent, police brutalizing protesters, tyrannical suppression of free speech. That psycho would probably be committing genocide by now. Obviously, uh, that is a reference to our current president, uh, Joe Biden. Dorsey has expressed certain political views that someone outside of the mainstream in the past. Last year, he said that he would be supporting RFK Jr. for president. And in previous election cycles, he's also contributed money to Democratic Party candidates such as Andrew Yang and Tulsi Gabbard. The Israel-Palestine issue continues to rule up campuses, including Columbia, NYU, UCLA, USC, and City College in New York. So uh, pro-Palestine demonstrators clash with police, raising issues such as free speech as well as intimidation on campus.